Protein synthesis is the process by which cells make proteins. It involves two steps, transcription, where DNA is used to create messenger RNA, and the translation, where the messenger RNA directs the assembly of amino acids into a protein at the ribosome. Before talking about protein synthesis, you should know about central dogma. What is central dogma? It explains how genetic information flows from DNA to RNA to make proteins. This process is a key to protein production. Actually, replication is not part of protein synthesis, but it's important for passing on genetic information. The main three types of RNA are messenger RNA carries genetic information from DNA in the nucleus to the ribosome, where proteins are synthesized. It acts as a template for protein synthesis during translation. The second type, ribosomal RNA, a major component of ribosomes, which are the sites of a protein synthesis. The third type, transfer RNA, helps decode messenger RNA sequences into a polypeptide chain I mean protein. It brings the appropriate amino acids to the ribosome during translation, ensuring the correct sequence of amino acids in the protein. Starting by transcription, which is the process where a cell makes an RNA copy of a segment of DNA, as it is clear here. This occurs in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells and in the cytoplasm of prokaryotic cells. Now, an enzyme, as you see here, an enzyme called RNA polymerase binds to the DNA at a specific region we call it promoter. It unwinds the DNA and uses one strand as template, this strand, okay, to build a complementary RNA molecule, and this is the non-template not used. The result is a strand of messenger RNA which carries the genetic instructions to make protein. We need to highlight something. That in RNA, we don't have simon. And instead of simon, what do we have? We have uracil. And also that clears here in the animation. Another thing, this messenger RNA, we call it a premature because we have a process happening before exiting the nucleus. In all means, this process is the first step of gene expression, converting DNA's information into a functional product. Now, to be ready to go to translation process. RNA processing. RNA processing is the series of modifications that a premature RNA undergoes after being transcribed from DNA to become a mature messenger RNA molecule that can function in the cell. It occurs in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, but the steps are more complex in eukaryotes. The three steps for messenger RNA processing are capping, a modified guanine nucleotide 5' cap is added to the 5' end of the premature messenger RNA. This cap protects the RNA from degradation and helps in ribosome recognition during translation. The second one, polyadenylation. A string of adenine nucleotides, poly A tail, is added to the three prime end. This tail stabilizes the RNA and aids in nuclear export and translation. The third one, which is a splicing, introns, as we can see here, the non-coding regions are removed, and exons, the coding regions, are joined together, as it's clear in this animation. The second step of protein synthesis is translation, where the genetic code from messenger RNA is used to build proteins. It occurs in the ribosomes and involves three main stages, initiation, elongation, and termination. 
during initiation, the ribosome assembles around the messenger RNA and the first tRNA carrying an amino acid. Here I have to say that all the time we have one start codon, AUG, which will bring the amino acid methionine for all proteins. In elongation, tRNAs bring amino acids to the ribosome, matching their anticodons with messenger RNA codons. And the ribosome links the amino acids to form a bromine polypeptide chain, as clear here. Termination happens when a stop codon is reached, signaling the release of a completed protein. Now the time is to practice. Let's start. As you see here, we have the codes on DNA that we need to do the transcription for them, then translation, then we'll bring the right amino acid. The first code, which is ATG. Now, on messenger RNA, A should pair with thymine, but on RNA, we have instead of that uracil, so it will be U. T with A, G with C. Now, the tRNA, I mean the anticodon of this codon will be U again with A, A with U, C with G. Now, how we can bring the amino acid? We'll never look at the anticodon, I mean tRNA. We will look at the messenger RNA, the codon, using the amino acid chart. Let's go there to search for UAC. Here you go. We look at the center. This is U. This is A. And this is C. So we will bring which amino acid? TYR, the tyrosine. I will write it here. TYR. Now, the second one. Please pause the video and try by yourself. I think you got it. Let's do it together again. The code is TGG, thymine guanine guanine. The codon, I mean the messenger RNA, will be ACC. The anticodon will be A with U, C with G, and the other C also with G. What is the amino acid? Let's go to the amino acid chart. So we will look for ACC, again to codon. ACC, we will look at the center here. This is A, and here C, and here C. So this is the amino acid, therionine, THR. Let me write it, THR. The second practice. Complete the table below by writing the sequence of the pre-messenger RNA that will be transcribed from the provided DNA sequence and the amino acids that will be coded by this messenger RNA after the process of messenger RNA splicing. Here you go. We have exons and introns. We understand that introns are non-coding, so we will not bring amino acids to this part. Let's start. Let's write the sequence. I will write the exons with a red and I'll search for another color for introns. So thymine all the time with adenine, adenine with uracil, cytosine with guanine. Let me change the color if I can. Here, let me choose the blue. Now, guanine with cytosine, thymine with adenine, adenine with uracil, cytosine with the guanine, thymine with adenine, also here adenine. Let's go back to exons. Let me take the red color again. Okay, now adenine with the uracil, cytosine with the guanine, guanine with cytosine. So I'll not take this 
only I will take AUG, this codon, and UGC, the other codon. So I need the amino acid chart. AUG, looking for the center. This is A, this is U, and where is G? This is G, methionine. This is the start codon. Great. UGC. Again, to the center, this is U, this is G, and this is C, cystine, C, Y, S. That's it. I hope you understood. Thank you.